Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the bedroom as I get to return. This is season three, episode 22 of Lucifer, where we have left off. Cain Pierce and Chloe have agreed to get married. Did I say they are getting married? No, because it remains to be seen whether or not they will actually reach the altar and say I do and sign the marriage license and become husband and wife. That's... That's a long way to go. Even if the wedding took place in 24 hours, that's, there's lots to stand in their way. Linda delivered some truth bombs. And we had the team up of Amenadale and Charlotte doing God's work to figure out how to kill Cain. Or is it how to break him up from Chloe? I forget. I forget what the exact... What exactly did Lucifer tell Amenadel he needed to do? Just, oh yeah, oh that's right. Okay, I think it was to get dirt that Pierce was the sinner man. <sighs> okay. Because what's done is done is what's done is done. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But I'm here. I am here for it because you are all here with me for it to be here with us together. We're having a good time. We're going to continue to have a good time because you're going to hopefully hit subscribe. If you have not already, you know how much that helps out the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you hated about this episode and what you loved about this episode. Let's not all be just the negative. We're also going to get under the big cozy blanket. I have plenty of water because my dinner was rather salty. Uh, also, you can watch the full episode of me being salty on Patreon. Love to see you there. So if you're all ready, I think I'm ready. Let's get to it. On. What part of she can to perform without it do you not understand? Right? Just... I do enjoy, um, they always bring it back every once in a while, a case having to do with the entertainment industry because they are in LA. It makes sense. That's their industry. This is an heirloom. Only the best for Bootsy. Oh, good God. <laughs> I, once upon a time, did some dog walking modeling. It was dog clothes. So I had to walk the dog. The Wiz, I think his name was Wiz. The Wiz, it was a poodle. <laughs> Cornelia, showtime. Oh, well, Miss Cornelia is dead. Is Cornelia? <gasps> or disappeared. Oh no, this dog's dead. Somebody's dead. Both dead and disappeared. Oh my god. Wowzers, that is some rock girlfriend. How much time do we have before the big day? Three months? Weeks, actually. What? I'm not talking about the wedding. No, I am talking about the bachelorette party. Uh -huh. Trust me, you're gonna need one for the dark days to come, because I mean sleeping with the same dude for the rest of your life. Dark days ahead indeed. <laughs> Ella's priorities slay me. I have been dreaming of the chance to plan a bachelorette party, but four brothers. He didn't have sister-in-laws? The bachelorette and wedding should match. You know, color palette, dress, cake. I think the, the, the. DJ, tuxedo, Was marriage going license. to we be have... city hall. It's gonna be open, which means we need to get a couple of bartenders. And... This is a lot, okay. isn't it? <laughs> this is when... Can we postpone the date? Is that what you want? No. My brain. No, totally in... I don't like email. it. I, look, we solve murders. How hard can it be to plan one little wedding? While you're solving murders. Detective has weeks of unused vacation days. A couple days away from the office might give you time to plan. Right. Uh, so you may remember, I know my sister's an event planner, and I used to do hair and makeup for weddings, and I worked in hotels so i've worked a lot of weddings so the wedding they're thinking of planning in three weeks it's gonna be a hard speed bump for me to get over <laughs> can't allow this to happen uh -huh. oh i like Why? this new year can't let it happen see it is god's will that you Did and I ruin it I'm just happy that we're on the same side for once wait so Amenadil's thinking it's God's plans for Lucifer to hook up with Chloe? 
Well, I'm going to try to understand why the detective would want to marry that overstuffed man, Ham, and then make her see she's deranged. Or you could just tell her how you feel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's weaseled his way into her heart. He's still not getting it. He's still not getting it. Ah, detective, you look nice. Thank you. Uh, anyways. He's going for the reds today, and it looks very nice on him. It's head on. Oh. Well, that's oddly mature of you, and it's it's nice to know that you're not going to start acting all weird. <laughs> that is a personality test, so I can understand why you do the things you do and you know, decide the things you decide. So much for not acting weird. Uh, actually, this is right on brand for Lucifer. And then there's potential reason number 54. 55. 55. <laughs> Maybe Chloe said yes because it's what she wants. Or maybe it's what she thinks she wants, but does she know what she truly desires? Because few do. Ooh. I can't remember. Did Lucifer do the what do you desire question on Daniel? Cause of death was blunt force trauma, so the killer is human. You can rush the order? Awesome. Show her a cake that has another man in it. I, I guess she did that once already. So. There we go. Thank you. But I can't have you second-guessing my every move. Chloe has her reasons for making the decisions that she makes, and I have mine. Only one of us can be detective. You're right. Yeah. That is the perfect way to understand the detective. I'm going to take the lead and be her. Oh. It's almost like you, 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 as if you have to do reverse psychology on Lucifer all the time. Has there been any sign of her? Cornelia is all I have left. Not yet, but my job means everything to me. But Lucifer, you're not a detective. I promise you that I will find Cornelia and get justice for your slaughtered husband. Because I am empathetic. <laughs> I mean, everyone loved Francis. But he did get into an argument with someone in the parking lot of the training center last week. But I did take down the license plate in case he came back to key the car. Do people take down license plates anymore or they just take a picture? I got your message about the engagement. Plan's back on, right? Oh, easy there. Don't relax. I'm not going to do it here. I'm just really excited. Well, she really wants to kill Kate. I don't want to die anymore. I'm in love with Chloe. I want to be with her. I promise to find you another way back to hell. Show me your arm. Really? Did he draw something? <gasps> That's fresh. If Decker loves you, then the mark should be gone. That looks like ringworm. I got me what you might. Oh. Clue. I'll work on Chloe and get her back on board. In the meantime, you better figure out that other way fast. <clears throat> mm-hmm. She's gonna straight up murk you. A wedding murder board? I am just trying to stay organized. <laughs> she's she's planning she's planning her wedding at work. <laughs> okay, so you plan the pregame till I get off of work. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. With you on the case, this night is gonna be insane. <laughs> I need Tim to, to get this off this maze. Maze needs to catch a close up. That's what wardrobe change. I'm committed. <laughs> This looks wrong. It looks so wrong. Why don't you just ask Chloe why she said yes to Pierce? No point bothering the detective on her time off. Speaking of baffling unions, how are you doing? You and Charlotte still a thing? Oh, we're going there. Okay. You know, I'm giving her space. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to. Hmm. Well, thank you for caring, man. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't care. Oh, right. Right. The Chloe work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This a bad time? I could use a break from prosecuting the Malibu State water polo team. I need to split up the engagement between him and Chloe. Pierce seems to genuinely be in love. To stop this, we would have to understand him. And that that guy is impenetrable. He's not gonna get Charlotte next to him again. You're both former immortals. You could dig into your own fears and insecurities. Weaponize them. Not the easiest, I know. But worthy of a test. Question, yeah. Amenadiel's not immortal. He's immortal still. 
He's just no longer angelic, but he's still mortal. Im he is still immortal. Chloe will be drunk in some stripper's arms, questioning her life choices in no time. All I have to do is water the seeds of doubt. Oh, this is a plan. Yes, whoever wanted Francis dead probably hired this Vincent chap to kill them. And I'd say, based on the security around that doorway over there, and the fact I've been here many times before, that is an illegal gambling den. As <laughs> Are they betting on who was going to win the dog show? So I'm covering all the bases like she does. It gives me no time to do the foolish, impulsive things I normally do that help solve a crime. <laughs> That's it. That's what's missing. I need a me. If I require a partner who's clever and unpredictable, handsome, sexual. I suppose one out of four will suffice. Well done, Daniel. <laughs> this is when Dan's going to try. Um... Right, remember, just be me, Daniel. Channel is improv. Improv, Daniel. Improv. Who the hell are you? Lucifer Morningstar. <laughs> what are you looking for, buddy? Trouble? I just as crafty, crafty. I'm here for your money and your women. Teeth, it is. Ah. You buried the lead. <laughs> Gamble it all, pumpkin. Gamble it all. Wait, where are we going? There better not be male strippers. <laughs> you underestimate me. It's a brunch. It is the brunchiest of brunches. <laughs> the brunchiest of brunches. Yes, I. It's pink. Never would have guessed this. Wow, what are you wearing, Maze? What is she wearing? She's the only one not in black. The girls are all just out for a night out. Hitman's greatest hits. What's the latest, Vince? I don't know who you are, but that stuff was a long time ago. Ooh. So then, uh, tell me, what do you want? Or, uh, desire? I'm married, though. No, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> like, what do you want, one? <laughs> Not like. Is that a dog bite? Don't tell me scars turn you on. It's just that when I was a kid, I got bit. She was a rescue. Chihuahua. She had been abused, but um, we kept her. Pebbles. Turned into a real Pebbles. Friend. This was no Chihuahua. What kind of dog was it? Wow. Oh, Jesus, Marion. Joseph. Is. Who approved this? <laughs> Who approved this? At the PD. The suspect was just about to give me incriminating evidence, man. Thank you for saying that out loud, Daniel. Quit making this about yourself. She's looking for liquor. Not on Maze's itinerary. Maze's an itinerary? Nail art, mahjong, silent meditation. Did you guys find the booze? Exactly. This is odd. What is Maze up to? Up here. Yeah. Oh, he does this really adorable, like, scrapey thing when he burns the toast. Mm -hmm. And do, do I really have to do a hundred? Yes. Please. We've got to do something. Charlotte, call in some favors. I've got an idea. I mean, this is like the, uh, the first official meeting of the Immortals Turned Mortal Club. It's all my father's plan, I have to assume. Maybe. I've wanted this to happen for so long. It's hard to believe it actually is. Yeah, I am really happy for you, Pierce. Truly. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro? Thanks, bro. Everything bro. is so much better when you know that you can, you can die at any moment. How much time do we have left? 30 odd years, 40 if we lay off the sauce? I mean, that's a drop in the bucket for a former immortal. Hadn't thought of it that way. Every sip of beer, every blue sky, every motorcycle ride. That any random act could just <sighs> take it all away. That's why life is precious, you all. Every moment counts. Oh, they're toilet paper dressing her. I did this two-ply wedding dress garbage at my cousin Rita's bachelor party. You know what happened? 
not drunken pole dancing. You know what else isn't happening? Us here. This is torture. Of it's still daylight. Maze. You got time to go. Sense. Oh my gosh, what could that be? Is that easy? Or they brought a bus. Always goes first. <laughs> I wasn't hired to take out the competition. I am the competition. What do you mean? <gasps> I got into dog training through the Pups and Parolees program in jail. I fell in love with one. <gasps> oh. He was a purebred mastiff, so I started taking him to all the shows. You're not in the competition database. Daniel, it's my line. You're not in the competition database. If those snobs ever saw me with my Ellie, they'd never give him a fair shake. So I pay someone to pretend to be his owner. So Francis is the, wait. Cornelia was pregnant with my Ellie's babies. I could never murder the puppy's maternal grandfather. Who else knew about the puppies? <laughs> they got, they had time to get shirts printed. Okay. I really need this wedding to happen. That means no surprises. And definitely no drunken change of heart. Y'all know Decker can't handle his booze. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. Let her have some fun. What could possibly go wrong? Mace <laughs> 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 is like, no. <laughs> I agreed to waive the charges on the Malibu State water polo team. They agreed to waive other things. <laughs> Did she know? Why is the, why 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 was she prosecuting the water polo team? That's what I want to know. What 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 had happened with the water polo team? The Barkley, owned by Dr. Valerie Haynes, veterinarian of the stars and SoCal dog show. I hate the wedding, but this bachelorette subplot is lots more entertaining. You know, I still don't think this is working. <sighs> Agree. I don't think it's my fault. I think you clearly need an intensive hands-on tutelage on how to be me. That I don't agree with. <clears throat> Hello there. And we would... Hello there. I know nothing about any murder. Over puppies? I mean, who would do such a thing? Mm-hmm. Watching that. Surely there must be something that you desire. I'm really all good. Uh, come now. <gasps> you want deep, deep down. I want the miracle of birth. You don't mean Ooh. for you, do you? The miracle of birth. Cornelia! Of course I took the dog when I had the chance. Do you know how little I get paid? <laughs> Dr. Valerie spends most of her time in Hawaii. I was backstage, but he was already dead. Cornelia was frantic. She came to me. She's very particular, and she knew that I would take care of her. Now you leave me with no choice but to follow my trusty detective gut and arrest you for the murder of Francis Hoffman. Tagger and bagger. Lucifer, I don't think you can, can have the power to do that. And this is how you puke all over the top of the bus. Gosh, it's definitely one way to sober up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, it's nice forgetting about the wedding stress for once. Why stress? It's all exciting and so bold. Marrying a second guy from your office? Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. You have a type. When you know, you know. Are, are we sure a couple of giant. Maze is killing them. <gasps> I like that guy. I am five feet nothing but coiled live wire maze. This means war. Your faith in some pretty ruinous odds is truly inspiring. Did you know that LA has one of the highest divorce rates in all of the US? Yeah. You're one of those, Chloe. It is for Chloe. I want to get her exactly what she wants. Cupid maze, altruism, Just... pearls. No Sob a little. I married multiple times. You're up to seven. I know you're not trying to freak Chloe out, but it kind of seems like you're getting in her head. You really think so? Everyone but Chloe out now. 
So Linda knows that Charlotte knows. Does Maze know that Charlotte knows? But I do wish you tried harder to be, well, me. I'm so afraid all the bloody time. I am not afraid. You say you're giving Charlotte time and space because it's what she wants, but we both know you're using it as an excuse to avoid telling her what you want. And maybe it wouldn't kill me to Lucifer it up. <laughs> I'm not taking any pointers from you, man. In fact, I think you're the one who's afraid. The reason you won't ask Chloe why she's marrying a Pierce is because you're scared to hear the answer. You're only thinking about Chloe as her job. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't even call her by her name, which is Chloe. Uh-huh. She's a friend. She's a devoted parent to Trixie. She's the most amazing human being. Daniel, you're sure, right. To truly understand the detective's motivations, I need to experience the full spectrum of her life. Oh, good God. I need is a defenseless, barely verbal creature who depends entirely on me for her every need. <sighs> I need a Trixie. And... He's keeping Cornelia. He has got to catch a clue. There's still time to fix this, okay? Two words. Matching tattoos. What? Fake tattoos. Fake. Did the bus just leave without them? Pierce tipped me off. Pierce was looking into fake tattoos. I mean, he made me promise not to tell anyone, but you know what? Lying bastard. Where'd Chloe go? Oh. No, sit, child. Oh, goodness me. Sitson. <laughs> Yeah, well, your parenting days are over, okay? Francis' husband, Frederick, is here. Frederick! Oh. Is Cornelia going to be like, ar, ar, ar. Thank you, detectives. I had no idea she was pregnant. Oh, there's my good girl. Oh. <laughs> girl? My poor baby. She's clearly feeling the strain. Cornelia! We knew it was him. How you doing there, hon? <gasps> Can you see me? I see a lot of things on this bus. Who is on this bus? It's like something's eating at you. <laughs> well, I knew it was the bus driver talking, but who is the bus driver? Everyone's wondering why I said yes, and I don't know. Maybe I thought that marrying a a safe, steady guy would somehow change me, and maybe this new, spontaneous me would inspire the, the person that I still am. That is a terrible reason. Well, that's all. Cornelia's prenatal examination was signed by Frederick, who said he didn't know about the pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And the signature's a match. Get in here, you stupid mud. Come on! Oh my gosh, is Daniel gonna be a Lucifer? <laughs> I had a hunch you were the killer. <laughs> okay, Dan. Your fur baby wouldn't go to you. And he's drinking who's whiskey? I'm more than happy to discuss this with you after I tend to Cornelia. Hmm. And he's gonna pull a gun from his pocket. Dan, 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 Dan. A dog is supposed to be man's best friend, not man's best replacement. I could never get up the nerve to just tell Francis what I wanted. So he killed him? You were scared of what the answer could be. Then I found out about the puppies. Six more reasons for him to neglect me. And we fought. And he fell. Oh, he fell. That's right. Blunt force trauma. Hey, Jesus. You leave me with the paperwork and run off the lane. No thought of danger, no thought of protocol. Really don't see the irony, do you? All I see, Daniel, Never. is that I can't rely Never. on you as my partner. So perhaps I should find someone steady, someone responsible. Someone who can actually be there for me. Cheers. <sighs> So you thought I wouldn't find out your mark is fake. She's going to straight up mark him. She's asleep. <gasps> oh. But I am coming for you. Why isn't Trixie at our sleepover? 
I stopped by to check on her and she wanted to come home. Um, did she? About uh, all this wedding stuff. It's way too overwhelming. Let's forget about the whole big event thing, okay? okay. Life is too short. So we're gonna elope. Let's elope. We don't need the whole circus. It's about you and me. I can't marry you. At all. I'm sorry, Marcus. Dan, you okay? <laughs> it's been a day. Uh, I don't know. I was almost killed. I had to deal with Lucifer all day. There was a dog. I was in a poker bar. Charlotte, I know that um, we've been keeping things kind of loose. And I said that you could use your space. If that's what you truly want, then I respect that. But I never told you what I want. I want you. All in. Okay. Really? Okay. That's what she says is okay. See, I'm not mad at this. <laughs> we developed it. We got it. Well, there's a few things I need to say. You see, I've, um, I've actually learned something for once. My God, it was a painful lesson. No ring. Don't go back. Do not backtrack. Yep. No ring. <clears throat> so you were saying you learned something? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I was nothing. Nothing. Completely irrelevant. A new case just dropped, so I was thinking, back to work. <laughs> back to work? Chloe, you can't date your boss, get engaged to your boss, and then dump your boss. So how about Kane and May's fake Pierce's death to blame Lucifer? So Cain still gets to live, but Lucifer still takes the fall. It's getting too complicated. <laughs> too complicated. But I was reminded partway through about comments a few of you made about how <laughs> I'm always going off on Chloe shouldn't date her boss. But um, how this is her MO. She was also married to Dan and she's involved with Lucifer. Everybody's in the prank seat. She needs to widen her pool of people. She's in L.A. L.A. guys are not like Pacific Northwest guys. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Let's just say the Seattle freeze, even if you're local, is a thing. Linda, still amazeball in this episode. Charlotte cracked me up. Ella was still her goofy sense. Ella, she was there. Gosh, Linda and Charlotte doing their things. Hilarious. Yeah, so for this one, the Bachelorette portion of the storyline was way more entertaining than Dan and Lucifer role-playing different bits although <laughs> Dan pulled it out at the end and channeled his inner Lucifer in a much more productive way than Lucifer was going because I think if Lucifer just spent 10 minutes and actually thought about it he could have come to that answer <laughs> like that okay so going forward we've got one in three episodes left of this season I heard I've heard you all foretell the next one is officially the season finale. Okay, I'm going to watch that next one. I'm also going to watch the other two because why not? Why not? Why not? Let's just watch them and enjoy them and have a good time. And then we'll dive into season four. Season four. Oh my gosh, this season's been forever in a day. But does... Who dies? <laughs> we know somebody's dying. So whose murder... Are we going to be solving in the unofficial season three finale? You have to be there with me when I find out. So you're going to hit subscribe. So if you haven't already and there's bells and whistles. So you know when the next video drops. Leave a like, leave a comment. I would have been on that party bus. Hell yes, I would have been on that party bus. Would you have? Let me know. So until next time, stretch your body stay hydrated um if remember did you set your clocks back go to sleep an hour earlier and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time